Home of the St. Louis Rams since 1995, the Edward Jones Dome will be host for our game, which looks to be a good one, between San Diego and St. Louis. Now we'll go to Tom Hammond and Chris Collins for the opening kickoff. Tom? We won't have to worry about weather conditions as we get ready for the game. Hello everyone, Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth here. Williams takes it at the four. Chris, this looks to be a good one. You know, everything starts up front. Talking about the offensive linemen, about the defensive linemen, they have to play well in this one. Both coaches have to challenge these big guys offensively and defensively. Hand off on the draw. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Great penetration there. Yeah, if you're going to run a delay, you have to at least give your running back time to get the ball. That time, with all the penetration, they almost took the handoff. Looking to throw. He's under pressure with the catch. He's dropped at about the 35 yard line. Another fine passing catch on that play. I know we all talk about 40-yard dash times in the NFL, but as a receiver, if you are a great route runner and you understand what the defenses are trying to do to you, it doesn't matter if you run a 4-3-40. If you can get in and out of your cuts like this guy, you will always be able to play. He's brought down at the 40. Chris, they love to run that play. Yeah, that's one if you study this team on tape, you're going to see them go to that in the clutch and it worked again. Jackson lines up as the deep back, I formation. Back to throw. Not much time to throw. Brings this one in. Knocked out of bounds at the 46 yard line. Good pocket presence shown as the quarterback was able to get rid of it just before the pressure got to him. Just keeps the ball moving down the field. Six-yard gain and a uh, little progress. Bolger has completed every pass on this drive. It's intercepted. To the 10. Touchdown. What an interception for this defense. You know, it's bad enough offensively to throw an interception, but you can't let the guy run down the field for a touchdown. You have to turn into a defensive player at that point. They did not make that transition. And they line up for the extra point. The snap set down. The kick is up. San Diego is up seven. Here's the kick. Williams from the three. At the 30, and he's knocked out at the 35. Quarterback threw a pick on their last drive. Let's see if he's able to shake it off. St. Louis comes to the line with three wide. It's the tailback. He's brought down around the 35-yard line. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. The Rams line up with two tight ends. St. Louis sends a man in motion to the right. He drops back. Guns it left. Excellent open field tackles. Excellent pass by the quarterback on that play. I'm really enjoying watching the timing between this receiver and the quarterback. We're seeing a well-schooled offense now going to work. He'll get the call again. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. 
he gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second and eight, ball on the 49-yard line. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Fakes the run. The pocket is collapsing. Out of bounds around the 48-yard line. He went to the short man, but the defense was right there to make the play. Yeah, and this is one of those plays that's a lot like a long extended handoff. He gets it out to the receiver and just lets him work on the outside that time, though unable to pick up much yardage. He drops back to pass. Strong throw to his right. Tackled at the 40. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next, but this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. Tipped away. Bennett was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Hands it off. He's brought down at the 36-yard line. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. St. Louis lines up with three receivers in the shotgun formation. Back to pass. Rolls right. Gets it off. There for the reception. He's dropped at the 31. Pick up a five on the play. Sometimes those quick slants don't look like too much, but if you break one tackle against man coverage, it could be a home run. Gets the punt away. This one's gonna go out of bounds at the nine. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Strong throw. He's tackled about the 27-yard line. And that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. And they're coming after him. Is there for the catch. And they get him at the 33. Five-yard pickup on the play pass that time. Second and five coming up here. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. Hester on the give. He's dropped around the 35-yard line. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Fakes the run. Throws out right. He gets knocked out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big play. He's looking to throw. He throws a bullet out to his right. Chambers was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. They'll face second down and 10. They come out with a big set. Pause. Hit and drop behind the line. Good work by the defensive line there. Yeah, it's really up to the offensive line to at least get your running back back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe from there, it's his responsibility. But if you can't block any better than that, it's going to be a tough day for this running back. Back to throw. 
Rivers will be sacked. That was a great time to dial up the safety blitz. Safety blitzes are so tough to account for in the NFL. Plus, you have guys that weigh about 210 pounds, typically very athletic, great quick pass rushing moves. We're seeing more and more sacks come from the safety position. Cyphers kicks it away, and did he ever get a hold of this one? The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. San Diego brings in their nickel packet. Gives it off. He's brought down at the 30. 10-yard gain that time. First and 10. Ball on their own 30. The Chargers line up with a nickelback. Fakes to the back. Oh, and they got it. It looked like the offense had a really tough time picking up the blitz on that play. You're exactly right. Those guys had no clue he was coming until it's too late. The key to any corner blitz is disguising it. You can't tip it with the coverage before he comes. He drops back. Guns it right. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Nice little pickup on that pass pattern. And I really shouldn't feel this way, but I get a little nervous every time this guy goes up to make a catch, you know, because he's had a little bit of a history of dropping some balls, but today doing a nice job hanging on and a big play there. Drops back to pass. Scans the field. Makes the catch. He makes a great open field tackle. Nice heads up play by the quarterback. I agree, I like the way he stepped up and delivered that throw. He just simply is taking what the defense is giving him. Bolger drops back, looks down the field, and he caught it. And they get him right around the 44 yard line. Great pickup for the first on that one. And really what makes NFL football so special is the ability of these quarterbacks to throw it and these great receivers to catch it. That's just fun to watch. He's looking to throw. Looking for a receiver. Pass completed. He's dropped at the 43-yard line. He just couldn't make anything happen after bringing that one in. And that play is really all about the closing speed on defense. They'll let you have the completion, but then they close quickly and make the play. Tackled at the 42. He got what he could, and it wasn't much. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes and... That time, there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. There's a play fake. Throws on the run. Completed. Brought down around the 34-yard line. A good play fake that time. It really was. I didn't see it. I thought it was a run play. He pulled it out of there and came up with a nice game. McMichael goes in motion. They'll throw on first down. Throws middle. He's dropped around the 25-yard line. And another connection that goes for good yarding. And we really see the trust that is developing between this receiver and the quarterback. That if the quarterback has confidence that you're going to be where he thinks you're going to be, he will throw it to you more often than he'll throw it to somebody else. Jackson on the handoff. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. Facing another third down situation, they've converted two so far on this drive. They hand it off. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. 
again and again another first down. And when you keep converting those first downs, not only does it give your offense momentum, but that defense loves sitting over on the bench and getting some rest. Drops back to pass. Makes the throw over the middle. Cooper has the pick. And he just got hammered. Well, he looks like he was in the right place at the right time. Unless you're the quarterback, then he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Three wide receivers set. Tackle at the 25. Tomlinson gains around three yards on the run. Rivers comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split out wide. Here's the give. And they get him at the 26-yard line. Gain of less than a yard. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short gain. He drops back to pass. He's going for it all. Batted away. Jackson was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. It's fourth down. Looks like they'll kick it away here. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. They get this one off, and it's a great kick. Hall feels it at the 29. He's dropped around the 47-yard line. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team, throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. The halfback with the carry. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Jackson comes away with about two yards on the counterplay. They'll come out in the eye. They go with the run. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. No gain, and so it'll be third down. It's third down, seven yards to go. Bolger lines up in the shotgun. Three wide formation. Here we go. Ready. Jackson on the give. They tackle him for a loss. The defense was ready on that series, and they had all the answers for what the offense tried to do. And that's a humbling experience for any offense. When you go out there and have those three and out series, you just go back to the sideline a little embarrassed, and the defense, they're upset. Here's the kick. He got some distance on it. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. They'll take over at the 20. They line up in an eye. Feeds it to the back. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Not a lot on that play. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short day. Drops back to pass. Defense is getting pressure. What an open field tackle. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Rivers calls for motion left. Drops back on first down. He makes another catch. Tackled at the 45. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Yeah. 
Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is 7 0. First and 10, ball on the 45 yard line. Rivers looking to throw on first down. It's completed. He's brought down around the 40-yard line. He put something extra on that throw, and it'll keep the chains moving. And that's really what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick out there. If you don't put a little extra pop on it, they can get there. Rivers drops back. He throws it, comes down with it. He shows no hesitation and gets it in there to get the first down. Yeah, you wouldn't hesitate either if you were standing back there in the pocket. I say the heck with it. Get it out of there fast. Let somebody else handle it for a little while. Here's the give. He's dropped for a loss. The defense seemed to do everything right there. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. With a pass, and it's caught. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. Great time for that type of pass. It worked to perfection. And that was a nice job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback enough time to survey the field and find the open guy. They get to the QB. Perfect time to bring extra rushers on the blitz that time. You know, we talk about timing on offense all the time, but when you play against this defensive coordinator, he is going to consistently throw your offense off balance because of all the blitzes he's going to throw at him. You have to anticipate blitz on every snap when you play against this guy. Throws it short. He's there for the catch. Brought down behind the line. Nothing doing on that play. So that'll make it third down. We've got third and long here. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Rivers is looking to stay perfect on this drive. Pass is complete. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up four. They're going to try a long field goal here. This will be a 41-yard attempt. Kick is up, and he got all of this one. I thought he had a shot at that one, but the ball seemed to be working against him. He'll need to just put that miss out of his head and concentrate on the next time he gets a shot. And the score remains the Chargers, seven. The Rams, nothing. First down, looking to throw. Throws while on the run. An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. Tosses it out. And they get him at the 34-yard line. Three yards on the run. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 34. Bolger lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Looks to pass. Looks for a man open. Catch is made. Tackled at the 47-yard line. And a nice pick up there. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. Drops back on first down. Makes the reception. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. Big game, Torrey Holt has done it again. There's no question when he's healthy, he's one of the best receivers in the game. 
just so smooth in and out of cuts. It just it doesn't look like it would be difficult to cover him, but he explodes once he gets into that cut and gets separation. Drops back, gets the throw away, and it's knocked down. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. Here we go. Ready? Hey, watch the screen. screen. Bolger hands it off straight ahead. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. A nice six-yard gain by the halfback. So another third down upcoming for the offense. St. Louis lines up in the offset eye this time. He throws right, there for the catch. And he's knocked out at the 29-yard line. That was a decent gain there on the pass. Yeah, no hesitation whatsoever. He hit that back foot, planted through the ball, knew exactly what he wanted to do. Setting up play action. And he catches it. He's in for the score. Bolger found the weakness in the defense and made them pay. And this for the tie. And the point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. And here's the kick. They get him at the 23. The offense takes the field, and they have to be a little frustrated that they couldn't get the ball through the upright. Nickelback is in on this play. Fakes the run. The pass is away. Brown knocks it away. And the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. They line up in a double tight set. They hand it off. And he's decleated at the 27-yard line. Three yards on the run. Third down now. They'll need seven to convert. Ball on the 27-yard line. He drops back to pass. Makes the grab. Tackled at the 37. Oh boy, that's a nice play on third down. Clutch play by the receiver that time on third down. As a receiver, you really have to just flat out want the ball in that situation. You can tell that this guy really does. Fakes to the back. And it's completed. And they get him right around the 28-yard line. They complete a long pass play. After a big play like that, it's really important for the offense to get in the huddle and get out, keep this attack going. Right now they have the defense on their heels. Drops back on first down. Short throw to the right. He's brought down around the 23-yard line. Gates picked up six for that grab. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Rockets it out. 
He leaves. It's caught. He's tackled around the 11-yard line. A good amount of yards that time on the pass. And running backs who are good receivers are pretty rare. You know, a lot of times those guys, they come out and they're good running the football, but they don't make the kind of plays in the passing game. This guy can clearly do both. Rivers gives it left. Brought down at the 11. And the halfback has nowhere to go. They're 10 yards away. Tomlinson lines up as the deep back. I formation. Back to throw. Dumps it out left. They'll get in for the touchdown. Tight end scored that time and with authority. If you get those big tight ends moving vertically down the field, they can be really intimidating for defensive backs. Good pitch and catch there. Here's the point after. Set down, the kick is up. San Diego up seven points. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it. Gathered at the six. He left the defender grabbing air. On their last drive, they had success with their passing game. We'll see if they go back for the aerial attack as the offense heads onto the field. Bolger steps to the line of scrimmage. I formation behind him. Gives to the back. He's brought down at the 43-yard line. Jackson picks up five yards with the carry. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 43. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Back to pass. The pocket is collapsing. Brings it in. Makes a cut. And he will be hit and dropped. Looks to be a gain of two on the screen. Here's a third and three. Ball on their own 44. Using a bunch formation this time. And they're coming after him. Rockets it. It's tip. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Punts it. And he got a good one here. Down in the end zone for a touchback. They were able to score through the air the last time they had the ball. Let's see what they planned for this drive. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He fakes it. Short pass to his left. Tackled at the 29-yard line. A gain of nine yards on the play. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. Rivers is lined up under center. They'll come out in the single back formation. He drops back. He steps up. Defender gets his hand on it. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Tomlinson gets the handoff to the right. Drop behind the line. They'll need to mix it up a little better to avoid these three and out. I don't know. I thought they looked pretty mixed up on that series. <laughs> I didn't see anything go right. St. Louis looks like they're sending everything but the kitchen sink at this punter.
Gets the punt away. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 45-yard line. The defense played exceptionally well the last time this offense had the ball. Play fake. Tips it away. Holt was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. They'll face second down and ten. Three wide receivers on the field, the quarterback in the shotgun. Back to throw. Strong throw to his left. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Good pickup by the receiver. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. Jackson gets the carry right side. And they get him right around the 26-yard line. Jackson picks up two yards with the carry. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. Here's the halfback. He lost yardage on the play. No one picked up the linebacker, and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Guns it out. Pro Marty knocks it away. Incomplete pass to bring up fourth down. We're probably looking at a field goal attempt right here. And you can see the frustration with this offense now. They were trying to go in for the touchdown, and now they're going to have to settle for a field goal. And he got plenty of distance on this one. And it's good. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. He kicks it. He'll return it from the three. They get him at the 26-yard line. Their last drive ended with a three and out. They hand it off. Tackle around the 26-yard line. No gain. That brings up second down. They come out with a big set. Cuts back and he's dropped. Maybe got a couple of yards, but that's about it. And that makes it third down. Rivers is in the shotgun. He has four receivers split out wide. He's looking to throw. He throws right. He's dropped at the 37. And it's the tailback with a big catch. And tailbacks love that. Anytime they can get into the open field, think about that position. You're constantly pounding the ball inside and getting hit by those big linebackers. Now you get out in open space and you have a chance to make a play. He fakes it. Gets the throw off. Brown gets the pick. And they get him at the 42. What a big time play. I can't believe he hung on to it. Well, we're going to have to quit using that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football. That was some play that time. Hands it to the back. The defender gets him to the ground. Jackson gets six yards on the play. The defense lines up in the nickel. Drops back to pass. Makes the throw out to his left. 
two minutes to go in the half. And a great pass for the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. Fakes to the back. Can't connect on that one. McMichael was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. Second down now with 10 to go. One man in the backfield. Bolger sends a man in motion. He'll get it again. He's tackled at the 25. A two-yard run by the halfback. Five DBs on the field. The Rams changing their play at the line. Back to throw. Gets rid of the ball. Jammer gets the interception. He took a shot at the 45. Why did he even make that pass? Good time. I think he got baited into that throw. He thought the defensive back was going elsewhere. He did a little fake. Came back in, made the pick. Just a real heads-up play. From their own 45-yard line. Rivers lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. First down, looking to throw. With the catch. Out of bounds, right around the 50-yard line. Pretty nice pickup on the pass that time. And that's simply good design and execution on the pattern. They work hard all week in practice to make sure that on game day, they have that timing down perfectly. Back to pass. Cogway has the interception. Tackle at the 49-yard line. And the defense just picked up their second interception of the game. There's a lot of good players on this defense. I've really enjoyed so far watching how quickly they break on the ball. Drops back to pass. He throws on the run. It's broken up. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Nickelback is in on this play. Back to throw. Short throw to the right. Brings this one in. Burton gains about five yards on the play. Third down now, five to go. The Rams line up in an I formation. He drops back to pass. Throws right. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Sometimes I think Torrey Holt doesn't get the credit he deserves for his speed because he's so smooth. He doesn't look like he's running fast. But if you don't really play off of him and try and sneak up and make some of those plays underneath, He'll go right by you in a heartbeat. Gives to the back. Brought down at the 25. Takes the handoff and responds with a seven yard gain. Drops back. He throws left. There for the reception. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Looks to be a loss of around three or so on the play. You know, sometimes as a quarterback, you have to be careful about dumping it down too quickly. Stand in there, see what you've got working down the field. That time they were all over that quick throw. He drops back. On the run, he throws it. Hayson intercepts it. So they come up with another interception. This is about the time where the quarterback comes walking off the field and one of his own defensive players will look at him and go, uh, you want to try and throw one to our guys for once? Rivers on first down. Is there for the catch. The Chargers take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Rivers is in the shotgun. Four wide formation. Drops back. Throws on the run. Looks like he had it, but it's knocked loose. Hovlinson was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. San Diego lines up with three receivers in the shotgun formation. He drops back to pass. He throws it. Makes the catch. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Throws Weil on the run. Knocked away. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. Back to throw. Throws out to the left. Oh, and he dropped it. Jackson was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. It's third down, 10 yards for a first. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's looking to throw. He throws on the run. Brought down at about the 19-yard line. And this is the way that you're supposed to play pitch and catch. And when you get a wide receiver with that kind of talent on the outside, he is a threat to take it all the way on any play. The Chargers will take their last timeout. First down, 10 to go. It's good. He makes that one pretty easily and puts it through for three points. The kick is away. He'll return it from the three. Still going. Hit and dropped at the 22. They'll start at the 22-yard line. First and 10. The Rams line up with an offset eye backfield. Fakes to the back. It's tipped and intercepted. And they get him at the 24-yard line. And we've come to halftime here. The score is 17-10. Here's the kick. At the 30, he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He fakes it. Short pass to his left. Knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. And the defense just ate that one up, Chris. Yeah, you're not going to fool this defense on plays like that very much. At least he got the ball out of there, though. They'll go from the I formation. Back to pass. On the run, he throws it. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. They complete the pass, but he was out of bounds when he brought it in. Yeah, that's a pretty safe throw there where only the receiver can make a play on the ball just a little too wide on that one. Drops back to pass. Throws on the run. Bats it away. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. Gets his leg into it, and he got a huge punt here. Hall fields it at the 22. 
Brought down around the 42-yard line. It looked for a moment that he might take that one all the way back. Boy, that was a close one for the coverage team. They were able to wrap him up before he broke it open, but he is on the brink. This coverage team is going to have to start playing with a little more intensity, a little more heart, or they're going to give up a big one. He throws it. Tackled at the 46-yard line. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. Drops back on first down. And he caught it. He doesn't get back to the line. Back to the line, but nothing more. That'll make it second down. They line up at the 47. Bolger is lined up under center. Only one man back here. Goes through his read. He goes up high for the catch. Great leaping grab that time that led to a huge gain. That's one of those that the quarterback has to be snickering a little bit as he's running down the field and say, yeah, no problem. That one was just perfectly thrown. <laughs> that time it was all the wide receiver. Hands it off. He fights forward to about the 36. And that will bring up a fourth down. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. Kicks it. Got plenty of distance. No good. The coaching staff won't be very happy after that miss. They brought him in for the specific purpose of making those kinds of kicks and a few more of those misses, you might want to start looking to pack up his house because he might just be out of a job. And after that miss, the score remains the Rams 10, the Chargers 17. Defense closing in. This one falls incomplete. Gates was the intended receiver and he can't bring it in. They line up at the 43. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Rivers will look to throw. Throws while on the run. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Throws it short. Pass completed. Not much of a gain on that play action pass. Rivers will come to the line with a three wide formation. Back to throw. Surveys the field. It's broken up. Hester was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. Third down. Third down now, nine to go. St. Louis brings in the nickel here. Back to pass. Throws left. Completed. Brought down at the 30. With that last catch, the wide receiver has logged his 100th yard of the game. Just a good, solid performance here by the receiver, this guy is plenty tough enough. I, I like the way that he gets in and out of his cuts, but I love his toughness. He's never intimidated out there. He gets to about the 21-yard line. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Second and short coming up here. Three wide receiver. They might have mistimed the snap on that one. Full start, offense. And that one will move the ball back. 
Come on, offense. It's time to wake up out there. You can't give away yardage in this game. Second down, six yards to go. Tomlinson gets another handoff. What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. The misdirection play gets a yard at the most. The Chargers line up in the gun. Three wide receivers are split out. He drops back. And the defense has a heavy rush. Out of bounds around the 21-yard line. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. San Diego can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. That's a tough miss. You rely on your kicker to come through for you when he's called upon. The guy starts missing a few. Not only does it hurt his confidence, but it also hurts the coaches. You got to wonder if they might just start going for it if this guy continues to miss like that. So the score is still the Chargers 17, the Rams 10. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. They got little there. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. Bolger with the give. Tackled at the 34. Four, maybe five yards on the run. Offense facing a third and four. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Play fake. It's completed. Brought down at the 41-yard line. They got burned on the blitz that time. Yeah, I'll be anxious to see how soon they come back with the blitz. They got barbecued on that one. You better disguise that blitz a little better than that if you're going to beat this quarterback. First and 10. Ball on the 41. Out of the gun. Throws it. Had his hands on it and dropped it. The defender got there in time to break that play up. He did. He was able to get his hands on the ball. But if he had missed that one, that one might have turned into a really big play. He needs to get rid of it. Jammer catches it. Interception. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. He's brought down right around the 38-yard line. A couple of yards there. The defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers a little more athletic and can really help stop the run. Here's the throw. There's no one around. Knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Nice pass and catch on that play that gets them a lot closer. Yep, and that's really just the way they drew that one up. You take what the defense gives, looking to move the ball efficiently downfield with intermediate passes. Setting up play action. Throws the bullet to the right. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. He gets it away. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 32. 
The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time, and it led to an interception. Little handoff. Hit and dropped behind the line. He was caught with nowhere to go. This is a pretty good running back, and if you can hem him up like that, pretty impressive. Looks to pass. He throws on the run. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Seven-yard gain on the play. Good play design there. Very solid protection. Gave the quarterback time to examine the whole field until he finally found the open man. Fakes to the back. The pocket is collapsing. Holt was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. The Rams line up to punt. Jones is waiting for the snap. Kicks it away and it's a huge punt. He fields the punt at the 60. He's dropped at the 31. The offense takes the field, hoping to put something together after their last drive ended in a three and out. They motion to the left. Play fake. Short throw to the right. Comes down with it. Out of bounds around the 36 yard line. Pretty nice throw on that play. And a pretty good catch on the other end, too. That's one of those plays that's quickly becoming one of the staples in this offensive passing attack. Drops back. He throws right. And it's caught. Three-yard gain on the throw. So that'll make it third down. Third down, a couple of yards for the first. The Chargers come out with split backs. Tackled around the 44-yard line. They better find a way to slow him down or he's going to end up breaking one big. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. How many times have we seen a back chipping away, chipping away, and then all of a sudden breaking the big one? Sets up the play action. He's there for the catch. And he's knocked out right around the 44-yard line. That last pass nets a yard, maybe a little less. Offset eye formation in the backfield. They'll go with the run once again. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Tomlinson picks up about four yards on the play. One man backfield. There's a play fake. On the run, he throws it. He's brought down at the 42. And a pretty smart play call right there. It really is so much the key to football. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why you establish the run and then you come with the play action pass. Just so hard to defend. Nice play fake. Throws it. Almost intercepted. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. Rivers sends a man in motion. Play fake. Pass is complete. 
He's knocked out at the 12. What a play. We've seen this tight end doing such a nice job all day blocking, and now when he gets in the open field, he makes an explosive play. First and 10, ball on the 12-yard line. San Diego lines up in a pro set. Up the middle with a fullback. And he's drilled at the 10. Two-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. The Chargers come out in a single back formation. Makes the short throw. And they get him at the three. He delivered a nice throw on that drop back, completing it for a pretty good game. You know, there aren't many guys who work any harder than this guy, both in the offseason and during the week of practice. He isn't the most physically gifted quarterback I've ever seen, but you can tell the time he puts in in the film room, in the weight room, and he understands the game of football. They'll score. Touchdown. He just got it across the goal line. You know, more and more, we're seeing halfbacks on the goal line with their ability to make little moves in small spaces, getting the ball and sticking in for the touchdown. They're lining it up for the point after. extra point is good and we'll take a quick look at the drive summary the kick is away they can't bring him down they get him at the 28 yard line so before the offense hits the field let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports Jackson lines up as the deep back, I formation. Bolger gives it up the middle. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Disappointing loss there for the offense. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm, but... When a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. With the throw, catch is made. He's down the sideline. To the 20, to the 10. He's in, touchdown. Now we're down to just a one possession game and things will get interesting from here. They're lining it up for the point after. And the point after is good. Here's the kick. Brought down at the 27-yard line. The offense lines up and is looking to score again after a successful trip to the end zone on their last drive. On play action. Hill bats it away. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt Second down coming up from their own 27-yard line. The Rams line up with six defensive backs. Back to throw. Off his back foot. 
Brought down at the 37. Strong, accurate throw leads to a pretty good game. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Dumps it out right. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. Hall awaiting the return. Cyphers kicks it, and man, did he get a leg into this one. Hall takes it at the 21. He's dropped at the 31. And they take the field with one thing on their mind, another scoring drive. Bunch formation. Bolger back to pass. Passes. Makes the reception. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. Jackson on the handoff. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. So a pickup of maybe three, and that will bring up second down. Single back formation, three wide receivers. McMichael is the motion man. Sets up the play action. There for the catch. Great open field tackle. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. Nice job by the quarterback in that situation. He saw the blitz coming, simply got the football out of there, and picked up the first down. He looks to throw on first down. Looks for a man open. The quarterback is dropped. They have to find a way to provide better protection for it. You're absolutely right. There was not a very good blocking scheme on that one. If you can't get them blocked with five guys, you got to start leaving in six, maybe even seven. These are tremendous pass rushers in this game today. He drops back. Strong throw to his right. Tackled at about the 39-yard line. Gain of seven through the air on that play. Little seven-yard throws like that have really become the staple of the National Football League. So many defenses now not allowing the big throws down the field. You have to be willing to take throws just like that. And that's the end of the third quarter. Score is 24-17. Big down for the offense as they try to make up the deficit here in the fourth quarter. Bolger is looking to stay perfect on this drive. Throws short. And he catches it. No gain on that completion. Jones is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. Gets his leg into it, and he got a huge punt here. This one's going to be downed in the end zone for a touchback. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. They'll give it off here. He's dropped about the 25-yard line. Tomlinson gets six yards on the play. So second down now. The offense needs about four for the first. Rivers hands it off. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. What a beautiful run. 
and now you can see why he was a top-notch sprinter in college. Yeah, but not all sprinters turn into football players. This guy is a guy with sprinter speed, but is a football player. He has the kind of toughness that you love to see and that speed that just dazzles. They go with the toss. And they get him at the 37. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Second and nine. Ball on the 37. The backfield is in the offset I formation. He'll get the call again. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Tomlinson picks up about four yards on the play. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's looking to throw. Gets the pass away. Brought down about the 43-yard line. They were able to complete the pass on the play, but they'll still end up short of the first down. And it's really up to the receiver in that situation to try and split the defenders. He has to find a way to duck a shoulder, to roll his head, to do something to, yes, they got the tackle, but they got it while I was still moving forward and able to pick up the first down. Cyphers kicks it away, and did he ever get a hold of this one? The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. And that was the last thing they needed to happen. What a tough break. They're down, trying to make a comeback, and now they're going to have to go almost the entire length of the field for a score. I tell you, it's just been one of those days for them. I don't know, maybe, maybe they can get their offense together and turn this thing completely around. Can't stay in bounds, incomplete pass. The quarterback put that one too far out in front of his receiver, and he couldn't stay in bounds. He tried to make a safe throw there, but the receiver was open. It didn't have to be quite that cautious and just let him out of bounds. Jackson takes the give. He's brought down at the 24-yard line. Jackson gets about four yards on the play. Third and six coming up. The defense lines up in a dime. Looks to pass. Scans the field. Makes the grab. He's dropped in the open field. That was a good looking throw. Yeah, great throw, but maybe even a better read. He understood by watching what the defense did after the snap of the football, exactly where to go with that ball. They hand it off. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Jackson lines up as the single back. He drops back to pass. Short throw to the left. Tackle at the 42. Short pattern results in a completion for the offense. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short intermediate routes and that begins to open everything else up. It's a pass on third and short and it's completed. And they get him at the 35. They pick up solid yardage there. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts, and he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away, and he is working them over. He's tackled at the 31. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six, and this is the eighth play of the drive. They line up in a one-back set. Jackson on the give. What a shot! They need to come up with a better game plan to stop this guy. Yeah, you're not kidding. They can't keep giving up those big chunks of yardage like that. They do. It's going to be awfully tough to stop this offense. Three. No, make that four wide receiver formation. Looks to pass. Looking for a receiver. Brings it in. Makes a move and he's in. Touchdown. 
That passing touchdown gives him three for the game. The extra point to tie this game up. It's good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. Here's the kick. Sproles fields it at the one. He's hammered at the 25. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. They'll set up shop at the 25. First down now and 10 to go. The Chargers put a man in motion to the right. Huge pressure by the defense. Not much room to throw into, and it's intercepted. That interception could change the complexion of this game. When you're playing with a tie score, you have to try to be aggressive, obviously, to get the game-winning score. But if you turn it over, oh my, what a painful turnover that was. They'll give it off here. They tackle him for a loss. It looked as if the offensive line just collapsed on that point. And it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. Gets the pass off with the catch. Finally make the tackle, and it will be first and goal. First and goal with her eyes squarely on the lead. And now we'll see who can get the bigger push. Ready. Ready. Brought down behind the line. There was no way that defensive end was letting him go by. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. He's looking to throw. Short pass to his left. Brought down at the one. Pick up of about five. From the one yard line. St. Louis finds up in the offset eye this time. Setting up play action. Throws it short. He brings it in, touchdown. That's his fourth pass for a touchdown. They'll look to tack on the extra point. Here's the kick. Point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. The kick. Taken at the five. Drill at the 30. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Hands it off. He's dropped around the 33-yard line. Tomlinson gains about four yards on the play. From their own 33-yard line. 
Rivers comes to the line under center. He has two tight ends. Play fake. Short throw to the right. And they get him around the 44-yard line. Nice job by the quarterback to hit the tight end for a decent game. You know, tight ends may not come up with those real explosive plays down the field all the time, but they sure are a nice target for the quarterback. Fakes to the back. Surveys the field. Brings this one in. Knocked down right around the 40-yard line. He found his tight end for a first down. There's nothing better for a quarterback than to have a big body guy like that that can catch the football. Nice play. They hand it off. Hit hard at the 40. Almost got a yard. Ouch. You take too many shots like that as a running back, you start peeking around a little bit before you get that football. Single set backfield. The halfback with the carry. Brought down at the 34-yard line. They call his number and he carries for six yards. So it's third down now. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. On the ground with a tailback. He's brought down at the 34. And the halfback has nowhere to go. From the 34-yard line. The snap. Set down. The kick is up. I think that guy needs to go back to the sideline and practice a few more kicks. As a kicker, you have to be ready at a second's notice to be able to step out on the field and make those kind of field goals. And it didn't appear he was completely ready for that one, and the result was a miss. So the score will remain the Chargers 24, the Rams 31. Short throw to the left. Tackled around the 48-yard line. Good read of the defense on that pass play. Yeah, and throws like that really settle a quarterback down. It's all about getting into the flow of a game, and you can see he's getting comfortable now. The Rams come out in a single back formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And he's hammered at the 47-yard line. So the back will come away with a first down on the play. But defense is so focused on trying to make offenses one-dimensional and take away the run. Anytime you see a gain of six yards and a first down, that's pretty impressive. He'll get it again. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. That run picked up a yard, maybe less. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really put some pressure on this group up front. He lost yardage on the play. He just didn't have a whole lot of blocks to work with on the counter. And you have to be able to get that counter play going. When the penetration gets there and it forces those offensive linemen to go back just a little bit deeper, it throws off the timing of the entire play. They give it to the tailback. And they get him right around the 42-yard line. Jackson picks up about four yards on the play. And they can really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Punts it. It'll go out at the 18-yard line. 
Just an excellent punt there, Chris. That really puts them in a tough situation. Well, you can say that again. Now they're going to have to go the length of the field to give themselves a chance to get back in this one. And what we've seen so far out of this offense, that's going to be a tall order. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. Here's the give. He makes his way to about the 28. Without a doubt, he showed off his incredible speed on that play. You know, not only the top-end speed, which is so impressive, but speed in and out of his cuts. That's the difference in a great running back. Anytime you can see a guy maintain that speed out of his cuts, that's a guy that has superstar ability. About seven yards there. That brings up second down. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Drops back to pass. Throws on the run. Tackled at the 42. Jackson comes away with seven yards on the reception. That will also give them a new set of downs to work with. The key to those slant routes is for the quarterback to get the ball out of his hand quickly because as a receiver, you want to catch it and get your eyes on whoever the defender is coming at you before he has a chance to get that hit. There for the reception. And he made a great open field tackle. Looks like a gain of nine on the pass play. So that'll make it second down. Two minutes left in the ball game. The Rams bring in their dime packing. Rivers drops back, throws a bullet. It's incomplete. They went with a sideline pass, but he couldn't stay inbound. And that would have been a spectacular catch if he'd been able to come up with that one, just thrown a little bit too far outside. And they'll try and get the first through the air. Here's the pass, it's there for the catch. He's brought down around the 39-yard line. This guy seemingly can't be stopped. He's now thrown for 400 yards in the game. Yeah, and at times he really makes it look easy out there. These wide receivers deserve a little credit too. They're doing a lot of work getting open down the field. But this quarterback's pretty special. He needs to get the pass off. Makes the catch. He's tackled about the 27-yard line. A decent game there on that pass. Yeah, a little timing route there, and you really have to have faith as a quarterback to get that ball out of your hand quickly if you're going to play with that kind of touch on the ball. Rivers dropping back. He catches another. Tackled about the 15-yard line. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass off. When you're trying to blitz the quarterback, you better have some talented corners on the outside because as a wide out, just give me three or four seconds against the blitz and it is awfully tough to try and cover that. He throws it, and he's got room to run. Pretty good read on that play to find the open man. And that's an area where he excels. He works his way through his progressions quickly and doesn't hesitate when he sees the receiver break free in coverage. Fakes to the back. Looks for a man open. To the end zone, picked off, and that should do it. Talk about a huge play by the defense there. And they may have just blown their best opportunity to win this game. The ball is in the quarterback's hands, and that interception was just, just awful. They'll give it off here. He's dropped at about the nine yard line. That's a gain of five. That'll bring up second down. The Rams come out with the offset eye. He fakes it. Cooper picks it off. He's brought down at the 12. That interception will give them new life. You know, I agree with the strategy that you have to stay aggressive in this situation. You can't just sit back and run, run, run. But... 
That being said, the quarterback has to be smart. If it's not there, just check it down. Rivers to the air on first down. Scans the field. And he caught it. Brought down around the seven-yard line. Pretty nice read on that play to find the open man. Yeah, the two of them really have been working hard building a rapport in practice, and now you're starting to see some of those results out here on the field. He's dropped at the two. Gates picks up about four yards with the catch. The offense has their big set on the field as they try to convert here on third down. Goes through his read. Makes the catch. Touchdown. The tight end hauls in another one, giving him two touchdowns on the game. And it's so difficult. You try and take away the wide receivers. You try and take away the big threats outside. And the tight end just kills you. And they look to tie things up. This kick should knock things up. Point after is good. Not much time left on the clock. We've got a great one going. It's all tied up at 31. Kicks it off. He'll return it from the three. Drill at the 23-yard line. You don't want to make any mistakes in this point of the game to give the other team a chance to win. Decision time now. Do you play it conservatively and play for overtime, or do you take a shot to win it all? I say take off your wingtip shoes and go for it. They'll give it off here. He got deep cleated. This running back just showed off some nice ability there. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary, and then he was able to explode from there. Pass completed. We're going to overtime. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. He kicks it from the five-yard line. Hit and dropped at the 21-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. Big set this time with two tight ends. Bolger hands it left. Tackled at the 22-yard line. Pickup of less than a yard, and that will bring up second down. From their own 22-yard line. St. Louis is going with the offset eye backfield. Brought down at the 23-yard line. They get one yard on the play. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. Cooper bats it down, and it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. Jones kicks it away, and did he ever get a hold of this one? Sproles takes it at the 32. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much there. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. He's brought down at the 37. It looks like they picked up a yard or maybe a little less. That brings up second down. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 37. They line up with split backs.
He's dropped at the 44-yard line. A pickup of about seven, and so it'll be third down. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. They'll give it off here. Tackled around the 49-yard line. They needed the first on that play, and he delivered. Nice run on third down that time. Boy, you can tell the confidence they have in this running back. They're going to feed him the ball in difficult situations, and he came through there. Tomlinson on the draw. He fights forward to around midfield. Gain of under a yard. That'll bring up second down. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 50. San Diego comes out with two tight ends. San Diego uses motion. Rivers drops back. And the defense has a heavy rush. And they get him right around the 38-yard line. And a nice pass to the tight end. So much of the game today revolves around those substitution packages, trying to bring extra defensive backs on the field to try and help against the pass. But when you have a big receiving tight end, that really makes that plan awfully tough to execute. Gates was his intended target on that one, but they can't complete the pass. From the 39-yard line, Tomlinson lines up as the single back. Rivers sends a man in motion. He drops back. Looking for an open man. Completed. He's dropped at the 30. They hook up for a pretty good gain on that one. Nice pass. Yeah, good pass and good confidence by the quarterback there. He saw the opening. He knew there was a spot that he could get that in there. But you could see he had the confidence to let this receiver make a play. And that's really what pro football is all about. And they'll try and get the first through the air. He throws left. It's completed. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 21. Nice pass play. It really was in the 80s that we first started seeing offenses throwing the ball to the fullback. You know, for so many years, those guys were just big blockers. They had a chance to win it there, but he couldn't get it to go. Oh, man, you just have to make those in overtime. <laughs> ah, when you get an opportunity with one play, with one swing of the leg to put a W in your column and you miss it, ah, oh, you just have to feel sick. Jackson gets it on the inside. It's a loose ball. They get the turnover. Into the end zone for a touchdown.